cold and the roses never bloom. Welcome to today's video. I know that it's like super close in on my face right now, but I'm having to use the large lens because the GoPro doesn't film the best in regards to these talking types of videos. So I just wanted to update you guys on how prep is going, how things are going this week because I didn't upload an update last week. I changed up the lighting. I know it's not the, the most flattering, but it will do for today. Last weekend, Matt and I went to visit with my family. We went to the lake, we had an amazing time, and I had filmed an intro for an update saying, hey, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna stay on track with my prep while we're gone this weekend. To be completely honest, I did not stay on track. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what happened this weekend in regards to my diet and why I didn't stay on track, but why it's okay with me. So a lot of people think that whenever you're dieting, whenever you're bodybuilding, whenever you're prepping for the stage, things are completely perfect all the time. Um, I get comments on, on my Instagram like, wow, I wish I had that dedication or that motivation, things of that sort. And I want to let you guys know that it's not always perfect. It's a great example because I was completely off track this weekend and I'm not talking about how I ate kind of sort of healthy and I had a couple extra cookies here and there. No, Friday night I, we, my dad had made a lasagna for us and he made a vegan lasagna which was really, really delicious. I had two huge platefuls of it alongside probably half of a loaf of zucchini bread, a bunch of Oreos, chips and dips and all kinds of good stuff continued on to Saturday we made cheeseburgers, more cookies and snacks, and I made breakfast tacos in the morning, cinnamon rolls on Sunday. So it was a fantastic weekend. I spent the weekend with loved ones, we enjoyed a bunch of food, we just enjoyed the time together. So it was absolutely perfect in that sense. But I was way off my diet. I probably, guesstimating, I probably ate upwards of 3,000 calories if not more when I'm definitely not eating that much on my diet. Moral of the story is it happened. A lot of people take these instances as times to throw their hands up in the air and say, screw it, and you just give up completely. And this is something that I talk to my clients about all the time. You have that screw it mentality. Don't let that one occasion or two or three get you down completely. It's about getting back up, starting fresh from where you are. So a lot of us struggle on the weekends and you have, say you have a bad day on Saturday and you say, well, screw it. I've already messed up my diet right now. I might as well start again on Monday. Why? Just start again with the next meal. If you screw up again, start again with the next meal. Every single meal is a new opportunity to start fresh. And so what I did after this weekend, I said, you know what? It's not optimal that's okay. I enjoyed myself. There's no sense in beating myself up about it because it's already happened. I can't undo what happened as far as my prep goes and I don't want to recreate those unhealthy mentalities that I've had previously with food where I feel guilty because I ate some extra calories. Food is food. Moved on from that. We're moving forward. Uh, worst case scenario, I probably undid a couple days of progress but it's, it doesn't bother me because I enjoyed every single second with our family and our loved ones and it was an amazing time. And it honestly put a few things into perspective for me, you know, as far as this prep goes. I don't want this to turn into my life. It has in the past and I don't want to center my entire life around just this one goal because there are so many other things that I'm passionate about in this in this life and you guys know that we show it all the time other things that Matt and I enjoy doing together and things that we love doing and it's not just about how my muscles look 
<laughs> it's a lot more than that. And although this is a great goal that I want to keep working towards, it's not everything. So I have to make sure and not put every bit of my importance into this one bodybuilding goal. So moving forward with that, um, I was talking with my coach about it this week. We're just picking right back up as if it never happened and moving forward. So prep other than that has been going fabulously. Workouts have been great. I love this motivation and drive that I feel at this time. And this is what I love about bodybuilding. It's the motivation and the drive and the enjoyment of the process itself. It's barely even about the stage, to be honest with you guys. That is fun. It's neat to connect with all of these other people that have these amazing stories. But honestly, that's just the icing on the cake because the process is what I love the most. It's going in every day, every week and getting workouts in, even though I might not mentally be up for it and feeling so much better after you finish because you know you pushed mentally and physically harder than you thought you could before. And the physical changes are only a reflection of what's going on up here inside. And it's overcoming those boundaries that you set for yourself that you didn't even realize you could overcome. And that's what I love about this process. And this weekend, it was just another test because although I might have failed in one aspect, I enjoyed every freaking second of the weekend with my family and I didn't let a bodybuilding stage ruin that chance to cherish the time with loved ones. And I think that's a victory in my book. Onward we go. It's just been a really, really fun process so far. And I think that this prep, this being my third bodybuilding prep, this has been the most enjoyable process to be honest. And don't get me wrong. It's not easy going in and getting my workouts done and my cardio done and keeping up with my, my nutritional intake and my macronutrients, but it's what I enjoy. And whenever you do something that you love, it's relatively easy. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I'm just kind of rambling at this point. But I wanted to update you guys on how it's going and it's still going fabulously. Yeah, that's about it. If you guys are in a fitness or health journey and you find yourself coming up on struggles and setbacks and something that you might see as a failure, just know that every day is a new opportunity to make progress and it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you keep moving forward and you stay positive, something good will happen. It might not be what you had envisioned it to be before. It might not be what you have as the picture of your goal of, of or of your physique or of your health, but I can promise it's going to be positive and it's going to be amazing, but you have to let yourself enjoy it. Don't beat yourself up for things that you don't always have control over and don't focus on the little setbacks because we all have them. If we all just focused on the setbacks and the negatives, we would never get anywhere in life. So I hope you guys are doing fabulously. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates. Got a few things going up here in regards to this journey and these goals. So I need to sit down, get them down on paper and I'll update you guys. I know that's very, very vague, but um, I have some things going on in my brain that I wanted to update you guys on. I just need to get my thoughts straight. But I hope y'all are having an amazing Friday. I will see we, the whole family, will see you in Monday's video. And that's when we're going to talk about finances. Money, money, money. All right, guys. Love y'all. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend.